Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Making his way to the ring and fighting out of the red corner, it's Raekwon Turner. All right, Raekwon Turner fighting out of Capital MMA. I saw him last night during the weigh-ins. He's 6'3". This is Grand Prix for these guys, right, Charles? Yes, sir. Yeah, Raekwon Turner, man. He is a, a different level here. Like, you could see, obviously, that Capital MMA corner. You got Conor Mosby in there as well. Atif Ben Saeed is there after his big knockout. And that energy just carries over. But Raekwon is a very talented kickboxer, and he uses his physical gifts really well. Not only is he tall and long, he's so light. So to fight at 155 pounds at six foot three, he would have a height and reach advantage, even if he was fighting guys at 200 pounds. So to be able to do this against guys walking around at 155 or weighing in at 155, it's just, it's such an advantage and he knows how to use it. He's dangerous everywhere. He's dangerous with kicks. He's got great boxing. If you get in the clinch, you're gonna feel a whole lot of leverage. He is a very, very difficult individual to fight. Hey, and look, Aaron Davidson standing at 5'11", when it comes to TCB, you would have thought would have been tall. But then you go in against Raekwon, who's 6'3", and now things are different for you. Yeah, absolutely. Aaron Davidson's probably used to being the taller fighter, you know? He's probably used to having a reach advantage himself, but now he's gonna be the much shorter fighter, coming down about four inches. All right, let's throw it down to Chris, get the blue corner introductions. Chris? And his opponent, making his way to the ring and fighting out of the blue corner, it's Aaron Davidson. House of Muay Thai's Aaron Davidson. He's 5'11", 155. I saw him last night when these guys did the weigh-ins and they did not look like they liked each other at all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I didn't know if there was any bad blood here, but I will tell you, I mean, you don't take a fight against Raekwon Turner unless I think you have a way to win. You know, you won't take that fight unless you feel confident in your ability to sure. go out there and perform. So. I'm interested to see, look, House of Muay Thai is a solid gym. They have a great coaching staff. They know how to prepare for fighters. And, and again, you know, if you're gonna go in there and voluntarily fight Raekwon Turner in the first round of a Grand Prix, I think you're gonna have a plan and a strategy to get that done. Main event tonight, don't forget everybody, right after this, the party happens right out in the lobby. You guys can go to kzilla.com and register for your email to list for discounts and promotions other members only specials, tickets, and more info. You guys check it out. TCB 31 will be coming up in January 28, two months from now. Canezilla 70, December 17th. That's when Charles brings me my Christmas present, and that's our Christmas show right here, and we'll have our 100th combat sport event. It's the Hall of Fame event, December 17th. What'd you ask for Christmas? Oh, Skylar, there what? are some things that you don't ask for, <laughs> you ask for information when it comes to me and Charles. <laughs> I, don't ju I don't judge. I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Aaron Davis is going to make his way up into the cage, or the ring, sorry. Long night, everybody. Let's throw it down to Chris Fuller. We'll get the official introductions. Chris, take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. This battle is scheduled oh for three two-minute rounds in the TCB 155-pound <laughs> division, and it is part of our TCB Grand Prix series. This battle is brought to you by our friends at the Shop Gym. It's my home away from home, helping Northern Virginia meet their fitness goals with locations in Manassas and Ashburn. Starting out, fighting out of the red corner. Standing six foot three and weighing in at 154 pounds, fighting out of capital MMA, it's Raekwon Turner. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, setting five foot eleven and weighing in at one hundred and fifty six pounds, fighting out of House of Muay Thai. It's Aaron Davidson.
Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for three two-minute rounds in the TCB 155-pound division. It is brought to you by the Shop Gym, and your referee is Victor Matamala. All right, Victor Matamala will be the referee for this event here at this title fight main event. Now, listen, this might be the first time, and we've done a lot of TCBs, that I actually heard the crowd boo somebody. There's usually more respect in this TCB kind of thing, but then you start getting this many people in here that probably don't know the rules because I just haven't ever heard anybody, Charles, start to boo somebody. Yeah, you know, I, I don't think I have either. Are there rules? No, I mean, no. really, you know, Thai Championship Boxing is more traditional. They just don't boo each other. Yeah. Big size difference here, right off the jump. Mm. Good kick to the Ooh, midsection. Oh, big knee. Uh, knee right to the face. Gonna have to watch out. Aaron's gonna have to watch out for those knees because Raekwon is so tall. Well, and you know, right here, it's almost like I, I kind of want Raekwon to start firing those punches because he could reach him here and, and really force some action to work out his way. You know, force Aaron to start running in and lowering his body when you start firing that jab. And next thing you know, that knee comes right up the middle. I think any type of knee right here from Aaron Davis is going to catch Raekwon low. Well, I think with the leverage right now, they're really just kind of holding. They're, they're so tight, there's not a lot of room to do anything. Good body kick there from Aaron. Both fighters kind of just kind of trying to get the distance, trying to measure each other up. Good kick. Raekwon to the midsection of Aaron. That first kick that got through on Raekwon, he's got him backing up just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that landed. Very powerful, Aaron Davis. Right here is you can really see the leverage and length that Raekwon has. This yeah. Good right hand over the top, too. Boom! Good shot from Raekwon. That's when snuck through. And this this is what nice body shot there from Raekwon. That's where you want to be, right? You want to have him at your arm's length because you know that he can't reach you. What we really need to do is make sure that these guys right here know that this is three rounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that uh, Vic went over there and gave them the rundown. Capital yeah. MMA is notorious for not letting anybody sit down. They just don't want them to sit down in the corner. The house of Muay Thai. Hey, have a seat here, Aaron. But Aaron, listen, Aaron's seconds right now, Charles, were super pumped that he got some shots in there, and they felt like he won that round. You know, sometimes it's just you need confidence to let yourself know that, yes, this can be done. And in a lot of ways, I don't think we've ever seen Raekwon Turner lose and really even be tested the way in which I believe Aaron Davidson has it in him to test him. So, uh, you know, I think his coach is probably real fired up, and he's also probably bringing out the best in him right now, too, saying, hey, man, like, this is what you're here for, that you can do this. You're doing it. Just keep on going. And that, sometimes that's just all you need to go out there and, and you know, that confidence, mm -hmm. that booster, it just it gets you to that next level. All right, starting round number two. Here we go. Raekwon coming out. He has a Carolina blue shorts fighting out of the red corner. Aaron fighting out there. of blue. Look at this. Covered up. Backing oh. up. Raekwon pushing. Aaron's, Aaron's pushing. hurt there. Yeah, Aaron, he's Aaron something's wrong. Something, something didn't look right there. He's trying to cover up maybe the ribs. Yeah. Oh, he oh. threw it in. What happened? What ha happened? What happened? What happened? It looks like there's something with his arm. He broke his arm. Oh, something's wrong. His arm's way out yeah, of whack. Yeah, I think that kick. Did it hit it or kick, dislocate yeah. it? Kick. <laughs> no, it looked like his. Uh, he blocked a kick, and the shin just kind of broke his forearm. Yeah, it looks like maybe the forearm is definitely snapped. I didn't see that kick maybe in the first round. Right there at the end of the first round, or did that happen right there at the beginning? Yeah, I'm trying to. I think that happened right that at the so end. so quick. The end. I actually think it happened in the middle of the first round, but I want to say it was the shin to the forearm. I'm gonna find out right now. <laughs> I 
Yeah, but this is because he can't do anything with that right arm. You see him trying to protect it. Yeah, he's going down because he I can't. I didn't see any. His arm is broke. Yeah, this happened, I believe, at the this, end of the first round. Yeah, this round. happened oh, at the okay. end of the first round. I, I so. asked Connor. I was trying to point out. I was like pointing to my shin as I'm leaning on yeah. Skyler. Sorry. No, but, you're fine. But it, it looks like a, the David Aaron Davidson blocked a shin mm -hmm. with his forearm, and it broke a bone in his forearm, and, and yeah. he, or or did something that caused significant damage, and he yeah. basically felt like he couldn't he couldn't really fight with it. And now we got to get these gloves off, and there's probably going to be super painful trying to get these gloves off. But it definitely looked like it snapped, and you can see it dangling there. Well, let's throw it down to Chris. Take it away, Chris. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Victor Matamala has called a stop to the action 16 seconds into the second round. For your winner, by corner stoppage due to a fighter injury, it's Raekwon Turner! Raekwon Turner comes away with a big win tonight, and that was absolutely amazing.